Hello internet friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I am working again on Chief Architect Premier uh, version X10. This is the official release and um, some new things are, new tweaks are happening that I thought I'd share last week. I did talk about this um, and I wanted to dive a little deeper into the background picture of renderings. So a quick recap is last week I showed you how you can right click on the um, on the uh, uh, on the rendering and go into technique options and uncheck choose backdrop. You can also get there by going into 3D the 3D menu rendering techniques and technique options. But when I do this and uncheck use backdrop, it does not um, change the next rendering uh, window that I open because in X10 now uh, rendering windows are uniquely um, they're, they're changing some things that they are uniquely uh, you can have unique rendering views or backdrop views so um, instead of having maybe a spherical rendering to where you get a 360 backdrop. Um, you can take a view of the front and a, a picture of the front view and a picture of the back view and drop those into different camera options. So in order to change it so that every rendering um, camera view that I do open does or does not have a, a backdrop view. So you see this has no backdrop because I changed it. This has a backdrop. It's because the defaults are to have a backdrop. I'm going to do that by clicking on this wrench icon, default settings. I believe you could also go into um, no, not that. Anyway, I'm I'm not sure where default settings. Oh, there we go. Edit default settings and click the arrow next to 3D view defaults and I'm going to double click on rendering techniques. From here I'm going to uncheck use backdrop. Now this is the rendering technique defaults whereas previously I was just changing the options of each individual camera view. Use backdrop is backdrop is unchecked now. I'm going to click OK and click done. Now this one has the backdrop still activated in it, but I'm going to, this time, pull up the camera from here, and we'll see that it does not have a backdrop in this camera view because I changed the defaults. So again, you can change the um, individual camera options by right-clicking in the, in the rendering window and changing the options here to, to use a backdrop or not use a backdrop and then to change it more in a global fashion you can go into the default settings and change the 3d view defaults so that it has it uses a backdrop or not depending on your um, purpose and function uh, I think this it will be helpful information. If you found this uh, informative and uh, helpful to you, please leave a thumbs up. I always appreciate the encouragement. And as always, subscribe and click on the little bell somewhere. I'm not sure which direction it is, um, so that you get updates uh, when I drop a new video each week, as I plan to. As always, have a great week. Thanks for watching.